I thought I'd post a little short video uh, regarding the uh, uh, the making of the uh, reproduction A and B batteries and I've I've put these in several sets of, of mine the 24 the 26 the uh, uh, radial 10 I think it's uh, I think it just adds a, a nice touch I I do have to say though it is a labor of love it is rather rather time-consuming but I have found that some sets actually perform better on batteries than they do some of the power supplies. Um, and uh, I certainly just, uh, from a novelty standpoint, like the uh, set to operate on batteries as well. Uh, let's start with the A battery. This is a 2.5 inch Lexan tube. I ordered off eBay. Uh, cut 6 inches in length. That was the standard size for the... They call it a number six cell or one and a half volt battery. Now I have to iterate. Do not use the two and a half inch shipping tubes. Uh, they are labeled as two and a half, and they are two and a half inch ID inside diameter. Uh, they are slightly larger on the on the outside, the OD, and they will not fit inside a radial of 26 or 24. Don't ask me how I know that. I, after making a complete set of A batteries, only to my dismay to find that they would not fit inside the set. Um, the B batteries themselves are essentially some wood boxes that I, I cut to size and put together. They're, uh, depending upon the the size of the battery depicts what size wood I use. In this case, I got this from Lowe's. I believe it's just a, a 3 uh wood. The wood's rather inexpensive. Cut to size and, uh, and make the boxes accordingly. Uh, as you can see inside, in this particular case, there's plenty of room for batteries. And uh, just to give you an idea of size... Here is a battery that I made for the 24 and the 26, and you can see it's considerably smaller. And uh, just to give you an idea of of uh, the difference of size batteries, and these are cut to these are cut to size from what they would what they would have been back in the day. Uh, as you see, the top is recessed, and of course that gives me room to do the pour of the resin. It's a two-part epoxy resin that uh, I pour into here. And we'll get in more on that in a, uh, a video a little later. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to post a little short video just showing kind of where we're at presently. And I, I will update as uh, things progress. As always, uh, thank you and until next time.